Hi guys, my name is Mark and if you seek for a pet which gives you more control than your girlfriend has over your cell phone, maybe you try this. Let's go! So, so what I'm talking about, I talk about the new Odin Eclipse control pad. Odin, very known, very famous over here in Europe for uh, one of the most sold hybrid pets on Max Gaming. And now they thought about, or they just said themselves, let's go, we go for a control pad. Um, they have claims on their Twitter like it all goes back to zero, which may let you believe that's a clone of an artisan zero, but it's not, guys. It's something completely different and it's a control pad where there are no similarities to any control pads I have here or had here. Some feel a little bit like this one, some feel a little bit like the Eclipse, um, but mostly then they are coded and the Eclipse is not coded. But let's start at the basics. That's the box you get when you buy the Eclipse control pad. Right now there's only one size available, which is 94 by 42 by 3 millimeters. And it comes in this box. The design is very good. Um, I know this design already or the basis of the design from the uh, stealth version of the um, Infinity, which is very nice, which is a very good hybrid pad. And yeah, there's nothing special in it, it's just a normal box. Um, they have the, um, the, the normal claims outside, they tell you how, uh, how the size is and um, that they have a CE and uh, everything else and then they give you one year warranty but I think the warranty is not for the off usage of the pet it's basically for when for example the layers are, um, are, are getting loose from each other the, the first from the second layer so the fabric gets off the rubber or whatever uh, so for bigger problems and not for down usage by you, your gaming and your mouse. So let's talk about the pet in general right now. Um, the pet is sold for um, basically 28 euro and 40 cent. With shipping you are about uh, on about 35 euro if you get it from Sweden to Germany with normal shipping, which is um, a competitive price to be honest for uh, a high grade mouse pad. Um, I wouldn't compare it um, with an artisan. I think the class and the level of the artisan production is still higher than of the um, Eclipse version here from Odin. But um, to be honest, the quality is still very good and it's more than enough to play it on a daily basis, I think. And if we are on the price right now, I can show you the original price on the um, Odin gaming page, it's $29.99 and I think some guys who have um, codes here for Odin gaming, I think you can get like two euro or two US dollar discount. Maybe check it out yourself. And I think they, and at the end you can have it for like 35 US dollar in the US, that what I think or what I thought. And when I order, when you order it over to Europe, be careful guys, it will get very expensive. It basically will double to triple the price if you buy it here to euro buy at max gaming also odin is working exclusively with max gaming in europe and they want to stay with max gaming for long term so max gaming will be the to go place in europe which is for me a little bit hmm because max gaming is only delivering to a bunch of countries in the eu and not to every country like amazon can do but that's okay, that's a decision made by Odin Gaming and uh, I think they have contract with Max Gaming. Also Max Gaming are the guys who raised the, the accounts and the sales on the um, Infinity a lot in Europe. So let's continue. Mm. Basically, one of the claims is it all goes back to zero. Uh, I said already and with zero, uh, most of you people will think about the Artisan Zero Pet, which I don't know what that should have in common. Um, let's compare it. We start here with the size. Um, as I said already, it's um, 49 by 42 by 3. It has stitched edge. Looks like this. The backside looks like this. The smell is very okay. It's not smelling like a tire fabric or. Uh, uh, 
tires for your bicycle or something. It has a little little flex, that's pretty good. I saw a lot of pads lot, uh, lately which have way more flex in it, in, in the structure and the fiber and in the rubber. That's pretty good, I like it a lot. Um, we are coming to the test where I show you my insanely um, slippy Ikea desk, but the Odin, which is rubber type, but soft I would say, soft to mid is um, holding very good on my desk, very nice, it's grippy here, no problems. Let's talk about the edges in general. The edges in general are not super flat like you have it on an Artisan or on a Razor Strider, but they, they are fairly flat and um, the um, edges, so the stitching in general has basically no flaws on my copy, looks very good. It's um, nicely rounded to be honest if you play it on your desk edge, there's no problem by rolling um, over it with your forearm and if you play it a little bit on the desk also there's no problem. It not wriggles off so you will not, not be able to pull off the pad from the desk with your arm so it's very good made. You will not feel the stitched edge on any point with a sleeve or without a sleeve. I played it on the Apex and I tested it on the Laurent in before a little bit um, to get um, an overall feeling and to compare it to um, D0 for myself and to the other control pads I have here and there's basically no control pad which I have here or which I know is available on the market which has exactly the same um, criteria and as the specs the Odin has um, basically which makes the Odin pretty unique for me is that um, if you compare it to the um, to the Zero mid and soft which I own and uh, which I played also a lot I can tell you already that the, um, the glide in general, so the ability to track something is very good um, on the Odin Eclipse, besides that you still have a very good start and stop point feeling because of the friction in general. But the overall roughness of the pad is not as high as it is on the Artisan, uh, on the Artisan Zero, because um, on the Artisan Zero, the roughness of the pad um, is pretty high and also it irritated me a lot when I played it with my, um, with my sleeve, with my sports sleeve, because um, it kind of made me slow after six hours, you know, it, it gets slower and slower for me, because the force I needed to move my arm um, gave me aim fatigue, um, so it was like, <sighs> it needs my power to play the Artisan um, re uh, really well after six or eight hours. I think this will not happen with the Odin. I will show you now a close-up of both pads to compare the basic structure and the edges in a close-up right now. As you see, it's kind of different. The, you see there's a little bit more roughness and a little bit different in the general and um, structure of the fabric of the Zero compared to the Eclipse. But I think this makes the Eclipse very unique. Because um, if you use for example the Super Light um, and you go over it and you just compare it by feeling, you will realize that besides um, the, the good glide you still are able to have a very dedicated pointable stopping point sure you have this on the on the zero two but for me on the zero the glide because of the roughness and of the structure of the pad um, doesn't feel that smooth the smoothness of the glide on the eclipse is unmatched right now by any other control pad just by the speed i would say um, the eclipse and the um, artisan zero mid are basically same speeded a little there's a little difference but the soft is um, like the artisan zero soft is a little slower than the eclipse but the eclipse in general by the feeling of the of the, of the trackability is way more playable and I enjoy I enjoyed it more to play it um, but for me in general it's not not that good for apex or not not that playable, but for tactical shooters like Valorant, uh, Rainbow Six, uh, Counter-Strike and others, it will be very good. Or for people who really, really enjoy or like uh, control pads. Also guys, if you played a hybrid before or you are known or experienced in playing hybrid pads, keep in mind this 
is not a structure comparable with a hybrid pad. There is no roughness, there is no, no structuring in the, in the weaving which gives your sensor the, or the better abilities um, for microcontrols. Microcontrols will be way harder with this pad. I tried it a lot. I tried it with my with my very small Zaunkönig, and uh, I tried it also with my um, modded um, Starlight. And it's harder to make those um, micro corrections. Sure, because it has a higher friction, because it's a control pad. But basically, it's also um, it's caused by the fabric itself and how it's made compared, for example, to Infinity, to a Strider, to a Black AC2, for example. So keep this in mind. It's basically a really good, really solid, uh, very fair priced um, control pad, which is a standalone pad right now on the market. Um, I would say thank you Odin Gaming for doing this, for finally, again, doing a unique product for people who are thinking uh, for different pads right now. and. That's it guys, if you have any other questions, put it down in the comments below. I will try to answer it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video.